What's up everyone, this is Sly for King here, and today join me for the second half of my case opening of the new Yu-Gi-Oh! 2024 Mega Tins. So in the last opening, I'd say I had some, I'd say I had some okay luck. Um, it wasn't anything mind-blowing, um, especially on the Seeker Res, at least for me personally. Um, like I said, apart from IP Little Knight, I don't really know what is the, what is the more sought-after stuff. Maybe the Horus cards, but apart from that, yes. Um, I'd say QCR wise I did decently, but definitely there's de there's definitely still a few QCRs which I'm interested in. So just like with the last video, I'm going to be cutting the camera here, opening up the tins off camera, and uh, opening putting the packs on the table. So I will be right back. So I've now got all of the tins open. So we've got uh, so yeah, we've got three packs in each. So. Let's hope that I can have some decent luck. Okay, so we got Imperly Beauty. So that's another one of the Pearlies. Don't even, don't even know how to pronounce it. It's a general Dark Corridor. So that's a Dark World card. And then we got number 15, Gimmick Puppets. Uh, not really been a big fan of... Yeah, not the biggest fan of the Gimmick Puppets, admittedly. Uh, oh, Gishki Grimness. Okay, that's uh, not too bad for me. TG Rocket Salamander and Sneaky C. Then we got Tear Elements uh, Kashturi. I think that might be a decent one because the Tear Elements are normally decently sought after. Oh, and Scapegoat. Okay. That's probably not going to be the most valuable card, but that, that will probably be a fun one. Like I said, as long as I get minimal doubles of QCRs. Uh, Unchained Soul, another Pearly Memory, Pearly Happy Memory, Snake Eyes Birch, and... Oh, Red Dragon Archfiend, sweet. Okay, this... I said in the last video, this was probably one of the main QCRs I was after, because uh, Synchronize, Red, Red Dragon Archfiend, possibly my favourite design. So, I will take that. So, that's definitely another one of the QCRs I was after. Okay, Polar Star with a slight bit of uh, wear on the O for some reason. Uh, Starring Knight, Rescue Ace HQ. Oh, Gravekeeper's Inscription. So, is this one of the. Hmm, I need to do some research on that one. Uh, Chaos Ancient Gear Giants is our next QCR. So, I don't know. I don't know if that card actually does like properly work with Gravekeepers. It's got the name Gravekeepers in it, but yeah, I need to check that. Because I do still have a Gravekeeper's deck, so <clears throat> it's possible, I guess. Okay, uh, Dragon Utopia, Utopia Aurora, uh, Trap Tracks. Um, not going to pronounce it. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Prodigy Wooker Wooker C, and a Coach King Giant Trainer. That is, respectfully, not the QCR I was looking for. I'm not sure if I said in this video, by the way, um, but I definitely did say in the last one. Um, for me, personally, this, this set has too many cards. Because I think it's over 400, if I'm correct. Uh, invasion Alien Species. The Bestial Alba. Oh, Infernal Knight Tubin. Hey, Regeki. Okay, so this was this was one of the main cards from the entire set I was after, because I mean it's come on, it's Life of the Sky Dragon as a Regeki card. So, yeah, so this is one of the alternate arts which they put in the uh, put in the set, along with Dark Magician Girl, two of the Invoke cards. I think a, I can't remember if a Red Eyes is in there, but yeah, that was that was easily one of the main ones I was after. Number thirty two as a QCR. So, yes, okay, um, that I'm definitely happy with. Oh, Harpy's Feather Duster, that was another one of the big ones in the set. I don't know if, I don't know if they put one for one in here as well, but I do know there's an alternate art of that somewhere. 
uh, Fearless, Sweet Dreams, uh, Sinful Spoils of Betrayal. Oh, Unspeak of the Devil. Okay, so there was an alternate art of Red Eyes. Okay, I couldn't remember if there was or not. But yeah, okay, so that's definitely another good one as well. Uh, so, and then we've got Predator Plant as our QCR. So I'm definitely doing, I think, secret-wise, I'm definitely doing quite happily with the with the alternate arts. So I've got, spoiler, I've got Invoked Macabre, I've got Regeki, and now I've got Red Eyes. Obviously Dark Magician Go, I suspect it's probably going to be the most sought-after one. Sinful Spoils of Doom, Cornfield, Banishing Trap Hole, Chaos Angel, I think this is another decent reprint if I'm correct. And Trickstar Light Stage. Well, I'll tell you what, that's certainly, that's certainly a bright card. Yeah, so I think Chaos Angel is... I think, if I am if I remember correctly, that's one of, that was one of the notable reprints from the set as well. I think, I still think the most notable is probably IP Little Knight, if I remember correctly. Fire Insects Armour. Starring Knight. Uh, Gishiki Grimeness again. Earthbound Prisoner, Groundkeeper. Um, oh, okay, this is an interesting design. Wannabe. Oh, I see what they did there. <laughs> Puns. Hmm. And the Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. I think that's my second one of those, but at least it's a decent exceed. Okay, so we're halfway through this opening when it comes to the six tins. Uh, we have Menacing Mantis. We have X Pearly Nort. So another one of the Pearlies. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Big Monk. Oh, okay. I I genuinely forgot this was in here as well. Triple Tactics Thrust. So that's definitely got to be a big reprint there. So that's probably got to be up there. And we have... Oh, what, what is this? Um, Guilta Gear Freed the Magical Steel Knight. I'm not sure I've ever seen this card. Genuinely. Huh. Interesting. Actually, I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put Chaos Angel up there as well because I think reprint wise, that's probably gonna be one of the main ones as well. So I do think Secret Rares, I do seem to be noticing more notable ones, at least that I can work out. Uh, so we have Hahi the Sword Meccano. Polar Star, um, Stare of the Snake Eyes, Heavy Pomerization. Okay, so this is this is one of the new cards which they put in this set. Okay, so like I said, I think I'm doing de decently secret, uh, secret rare rise. And Cosmic Blazar Dragon as our QCR. Okay, so last pack from what would have been the fourth tin. We have Reforming, we have Pharaonic um, Advents, and we have Triangle O, uh, Snake Your Soul, and our QCR is Solomon Great Gazelle. Okay, so that's my second one of those. Okay, six packs left. So, spoiler, well, I'm not gonna say spoiler. Um, Realistically, there's probably still three main QCRs I'm interested in. Obviously, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician Girl, and maybe Honest or Wing Karibo. Those are probably the main ones I'm after. Okay, Elephant, Angel of Blue Tears, uh, Lil La Rap, um, Imbalan on Oath. Oh, Centurion, okay. Oh, so we got Opening of the Spirit Gates again. Mm. I bet you the Dark Magician... And blue eyes. I bet they're going to be uh, short prints. I bet that's what happened. Okay, Forge a New Future. Uh, imaginings. Emergency. So there's Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid. And uh, First Movement Soul. Okay. Oops. I accidentally put that face down. Okay, so we have <laughs> Wheel Synchron. Okay, that's funny. Centurion Bounds. Uh, 
Can I pick Protector? Oh, King Sarcophagus. Okay, um, I'll take that. This is one of the Horus cards. Um, yeah, Horus definitely got quite a few reprints in this set. Oh, Winkaribo. Okay, I'll take that. I don't think I actually have this. I can't remember if I have that artwork of Winkaribo, so yeah, I'll take that. Okay, we are now down to the last three packs of the case. How would I say I've done overall? Um, not too bad. Oh, there is actually, sorry, there is actually one other QC I'm looking for. Um, spoiler, I have one piece of Exodia which I'm missing. I think it's the right leg. So, if I can't get D Dark Magician Go or Blue Eyes, I'd quite like to complete the Exodia set. So that'd be a nice consolation. Okay, Jen the Diamond Tiger, Casamola, Contain, em uh, Emperor Charles the Great, uh, one level nine, and Brawler Dragon. packs left i think yeah realistically i wasn't gonna get wasn't gonna get both of them but it would be nice to at least get one uh ever saw lions uh, lions the abyss dragon sword soul asset mantis revolution synchron okay uh so if you control if you're supposed to summon the power to a dragon that's going to be oh, okay that's not too bad number f0 utopia dragonic future Okay, now we are down to the last pack of this case. What's it going to be? Um, if I can't get the QCRs, then I would quite like maybe another alternate art. Uh, that would be quite nice. Because realistically, I wasn't expecting to get everything in one in one t in one case. Okay, so Ken the Dragon Warrior, Extinguish, uh, Angelica's Angelic Ring. And Vicious Astraloud. Okay, so what is our QCR? Is this going to be? It's an effect monster. Ugh, Phantom Knights of Silence Boots. Okay. So, so I'd say this t I'd say this case, the, this half of the case, it started off strong. We got some decent secret rides. We got. Red Eyes, Regeki, Triple Tactics, and Chaos Angel. Um, QCR-wise, in fact, I'll just do a quick recap. Um, so yeah, here's some of the so here's some of the secret rares. I think King Sarcophagus is probably a noteworthy one. Um, Heavy Polarization as well, because that's one of the new cards. Uh, maybe Tira, Tira Elements, Kashtira. And obviously you've got the four secret rares up there. Uh, and then for the QCRs we got in this video, so we got Silent Boots, Trick on the Future, Boral Load, Wing Karibo, uh, First Movement Soul, Opening the Spirit Gates, Gazelle, Cosmic Blazer Dragon, Sa uh, Galaxy Cypher, uh, Number 32, uh, Chaos Ancient uh, Gear Giant, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend, and uh, Scapegoat, along with Number 15. So overall, I'd say probably probably my favourite card that I've pulled from this opening is probably going to have to be either the Regeki or the QCR Red Dragon Archfiend because those were two of the main cards I was after. Um, overall, I'd say I got, I got a decent amount of the stuff I was after. I got three of the alternate arts, got a couple of the QCRs, and maybe two of the better reprint cards in the set. But overall... Um, I just think there's too many cards in the set, admittedly. Like, I think if you go over 400, I think that's... I think it's going in the... Definitely going in the wrong direction. Um, previous Megatins have had maybe two, 300. But I think over 400 is too many. Especially if you have 100 secrets, which I think is what was reported. Yeah. And 50 QCRs is definitely too many because you can't get all of them in a case. So, yeah. Um, like I said, some of the cards... I still like, I, st I mean, I'll definitely use some of the rarity upgrades for some of the deck profiles, but yeah. So that has been the other half of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, mega uh, 2024 Megaton opening, uh, case opening. If you enjoyed this op these openings, then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to know when my newest openings will be coming out. Hope you've enjoyed, and for now, this is Life King, signing out.